Good morning, Fit Fam. First off, I'd like to wish all the fathers and father figures a very happy Father's Day. The world is better and that much brighter with you all. Today's guest on Neri's Kitchen has been cooking pretty much her entire life. With a big family, she has never stopped cooking. Originally from Punjab, India, and her favorite Canadian dish is tacos, please welcome Seema Sharma. Hi, Fit Fam. Thanks, Neri, for having me. Thanks for joining me. What are we making today? Today we are making actually mutter paneer. Uh, paneer is just like a cottage cheese, but it's different than cottage cheese. It's a texture, the taste is completely different. Mm -hmm. And mutter, everybody knows, it's called peas in English. Oh, okay. So that's what you're making. So paneer and peas. Paneer and peas together. Perfect. Okay. And the dish called mutter paneer. Mutter paneer. How do you say it again? Mutter paneer. Mutter paneer. I'll get that. Mutter <laughs> paneer. I know how to say paneer. <laughs> and what else are we making? Uh, so mutter paneer is a gravy dish. It can okay. go with rice and rotis as well. So mm -hmm. today we're going to make rotis with it. Okay. Uh, rice, everybody knows how to make it. So it's optional. You guys can make a rice with that. And this dish goes good with roti and rice both. Uh, for the gravy, I brought some ingredients. I'm just going to show you. For gravy, we need onions, like chopped onions. Then we have garlic, chopped as well. Ginger, I just grated the ginger and put it in the freezer overnight. But you can get fresh ginger, you can just grate it and use that as well. Okay. And then I have spices. So I have cumin seeds. Then I have... Oh, I love the smell of cumin. Turmeric powder. Turmeric. The turmeric powder, I just want to tell you, this is very good ingredient for any gravy. It helps, uh, it has an anti-inflammatory uh, quality in it. I heard people yeah. actually put that in their drinks um, yes. when they have some muscle soreness yes. in, and in coffee too. Exactly. In old ages, like in India, when you have any kind of injury inside mm -hmm. for healing, they yeah. were using the turmeric powder in milk, oh. hot milk, turmeric powder. And a little bit like oil, ghee. It's called, it's a ghee, but it's different than oil. Yes. They made it at home. It's a pure ghee and they make a drink. Mm -hmm. You drink it every day for a week. Mm -hmm. They said it helps you healing fast. Maybe that's what I've seen people drinking was that the turmeric in the milk, but it was called the, the coffee, right? Even yes. though it's not actual coffee. Yes. Uh, so I have a red chili powder, like chili flakes, I okay. would say, not powder. Uh, salt. And I have garam masala. So this garam masala you can get at the Indian store, even at Superstore it's available. It's like you can get any brand. I usually buy MDH brand. Okay. So it says on the on the packaging garam masala. So okay. This is what I'm using. Uh, that's about it for the thing. And then, of course, tomato paste. And can you explain what is a roti if for our viewers that don't know what a roti uh, is? Roti is just like a naan bread. Okay. Like you get naan bread at the stores, like frozen sections. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, but the naan bread they made in a uh, oven, like a clay oven inside there yes, or in the oven, yes. like we have conventional oven at home. Mm -hmm. But rotis is more like... It's, it's, we make it on the pan on a stove. So it's just like, I use whole wheat flour. Okay. Uh, you can use any kind of flour, white flour, whole wheat flour, whatever you prefer. Uh, so just the flour and the water, I make a dough. And okay. then we make out of the dough. I'm going to, when I'm going to do the demo. Okay. So it's like a flat bread, pretty flat much. Flat bread, yes. Okay, sounds good. Uh, no oil, no... Uh, nothing is in there. It's just simple, plain, just eating with the gravy. That's it. Okay, sounds good. So should we start? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have a pan already. I'm just gonna wash my hands first, Seema. Okay. And how high do you want the temperature, Seema? Uh, I would say seven is okay. Seven? Okay. Okay, let's start that again. Okay, it's on seven. Okay, I want you to put olive oil in there. I'm using olive oil for this dish, but you can use any cooking oil, like whatever you prefer. Coconut oil, canola oil, and any how much? Oil. How much oil? Any more than that. Oh, more? Yes. I would say a little bit more, yes. Oh. That's good enough. That's good? That's good enough. Okay. All right. So first, I'm going to use oh. my 
cumin seeds. You know, I think, let me just fix this. I think it's tricky right now. I gotta turn it off. Or maybe you need an induction pad for that? Maybe that's what it is. Is this not induction? I don't think so. Oh, that's why it's, I do have induction pans, yes. Okay. okay, so let's start that again. We need induction <laughs> pans. I forgot that we, uh, we have special pans for my stove. That explains why. Because I have another stove too and at home, so like, I'm like, okay, because it's single. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. I was wondering why I was making that noise, and I thought, oh dear. <laughs> okay, start this again. There we go. Okay. Okay, stove is on. I'll put some more oil, and you can tell me. Okay, a little bit more. Is this about a uh, let's see. That's good enough. It's good? Yes. It's about four tablespoons of oil, Caroline I think. Caroline and Ashley say good morning. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So we're going to just let it heat up a little bit. Okay. And the first thing we're going to put cumin seeds in there. And are we putting whole cumin seeds? Um, I'm making actually this much peas package. So for this quantity, I would say that's good enough. I think that's it's probably like two tablespoons. Two oh. tables. Okay, yeah. Don't have mushrooms. It looks like a tablespoon and a half. Probably. You know what? Just, just to be safe, let's measure it for our viewers that want to know. Do you know what? Know. Whenever I cook, I don't measure my spices. I, know. I just put it in. Okay, so it's almost a tablespoon. Let me know when I can dump this in. You can dump it. Dump it in? Okay, there we go. So I have these, the three medium onions, cut chopped, white onions, but you can use any kind. Okay. You can use red or any other kind, whatever you like. More onions taste more better. Right. So it's not harm to using like, there's no uh, fixed quantity for this. Exactly. Like, yeah. I never measure onions. I always put <laughs> as many onions as possible. So we're going to let it crack a little bit. So onions. Okay. Put all in here. So you're from Punjab, India. Yes. I when am. did you come to Canada? I came to Canada in 2004. Oh, 2004. Okay. Yes. And was it a big culture shock for you to come when you came? Uh, in the beginning, yes, because when I moved here, there was not too many Indian restaurants at that time, mm -hmm. and there was not like too many East Indian food available. Okay. So I wasn't eating it. I was completely vegetarian when I came here, mm -hmm. and every time I was going somewhere, like it was hard for me to eat outside. Okay. Because I wasn't finding any vegetarian meal, proper meal. I see. All I can find is like steamed vegetables mm -hmm. with the rice, plain rice. Oh, I <laughs> see. Yeah. Because I'm a very like a spicy person. Like, mm -hmm. I, like I love spices. I cook everything with spices. So if the bland food is not my kind, right. It's and hard. So are you still a vegetarian then? I still eat chicken. You started to eat chicken because I heard that the majority of people in Punjab which is a state in mm -hmm. India, is vegetarian about, let's say, 60 or 70 percent? Yes, they are. Okay. Even in India, mostly people, they eat chicken. They don't eat any other kind of meat. Right. But nowadays, it's, like, way different. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, like, chicken is the main meat they eat. They don't eat any other kind. Or fish, maybe. Chicken and fish? Okay. But it's very rare, because I heard rare. that the meat in India, or Punjab specifically, is actually very expensive. Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, so this is garlic. Garlic. Uh, it's also chopped. I have maybe uh, five to six cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna put that in. And have you been back to um, India? I've been back to India since I came three times. Okay. Yeah. And have your kids been to India? Um, just the older. Just the one. older one. Yeah. They wanna go though. Oh, I might take them one day. I watched Eat, Pray, Love when it first came out. It's a movie. I don't know if you've watched it or not, but um, it was a lady that was, went to Italy, went to India, and went to Bali because she was trying to find herself right after she had a heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And so I was kind of going through like a little bit of, you know, finding myself phase. 
And so I really want to go to India too. That was my plan actually to go, but I couldn't find someone to go with me. You can go with me. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can make it a date. So I didn't go to Italy. Uh, I didn't go to India, but I did actually go to Bali after because I found people that wanted to go with me. Mm-hmm. My little story on that. <laughs> and I loved it so much. I actually brought RJ with me a couple years after mm-hmm. that. India is a big country. Like there's a lot of lot to see. It's like there's so many languages, so yes. many different foods, so mm-hmm. many different cultures. Okay. Yeah. It's it's every every state, every city is different. The language is different. Food is different. Culture is different. In India. Yes. Wow. Okay. So let me ask you this: What is the population of Punjab? In population of Punjab, I would say in whole India it's like a one billion people so what and about Punjab the state <laughs> oh it's safe close to million. I did my people? research I did my research million, you know believe it or not there's 29 million people oh. in, in Punjab alone the state wow. and that's only a small state yeah a lot of people so no it. definitely <laughs> more than a than a million people <laughs> It's gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna wait until the our onions are completely towards the brown side. Okay. Not to the burn side, but yeah. like brownish, pinkish brownish. Pinkish brownish. Okay. A little bit of caramelly look. Mm-hmm. And do you know what um the, what Punjab is famous for? Uh, it's famous for a, their dish is called makiri roti and sarsan ka saag. Okay. Uh, Makini roti is like a roti we're gonna make today, mm-hmm. but it's corn flour made. Oh, corn so, flour made. Okay. Yeah. So same thing, but it's like instead of using the all-purpose flour or any other flour, it's corn flour. Okay. So they make out of that, and salt is more like I would say a lot of kale, spinach, broccoli, mm-hmm. those things together, okay. and it takes a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> to cook. So that's Maybe that's why you've been cooking all over your life. <laughs> it takes a long time. Yes. Um, so that's famous. And another thing famous in Punjab is Golden Temple. I heard. You know, I actually looked at it. It's actually a really big Golden mm-hmm. Temple. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, it's just like a church mm-hmm. for us. And uh, it's in Amritsar. Mm-hmm. And it's made of gold. It really is made out of gold? Yeah, it's real gold. Oh, it's real gold. Yes. That's why. Okay. Yes. And it's in the center of the river. Yes. And it's like a water out, like all around it. Mm-hmm. So you walk in and you will see you're walking actually inside. This is a pathway inside the water, but it's actually uh, in the center. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. It, it looks very see, beautiful. Yeah. It's actually the number one destination spot in Punjab. Yes. I did my research again. <laughs> <laughs> so how is this looking? It's looking there. So now you see, like, they just start getting a little bit brownish. I do see the brown, yes. So what I want to do, Mary, can you open a tomato can for me? Sure. There we go. <laughs> and am I, am I dumping the whole can, Seema? Uh, no. You're not going to use the whole can, but I just want to show you guys. Like, this is just a tomato paste, like a crushed tomato I'm using. Okay. So it looks like sauce almost. Yes. All right. It tastes much more better if you're using in a gravy, uh, but you can use real tomatoes as well. If you have real tomato, just peel off the skin. Okay. And use the crushing mushy part inside. Got it. So this whole will just give the color to the gravy as well as uh, more thickness. I see. Okay. Okay. Who says hi? Jane. Hi, Jane. Thanks for tuning in. Says, Happy Father's Day, RJ and Jero. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. So our onions are almost getting cut. Okay. Do you have a hand blender, don't you? I do not have a hand blender. I do have my extra, what is it? I forgot. The Ultra thing. Blend Ninja, if that works. Yep. It's, my, it's like my big smoothie machine, but it's really good. You know, I, what I usually do is when my, my thing is ready, I usually do a hand blend in there. But oh, I forgot I to bring my 
totally, like, I, it was in my mind, but I totally forgot. Okay. But no, I don't have a blender. Do you have any small blender? I use? just have my Ninja, but it, it can blend very well. Is it okay to blend this in there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, RJ, would it be okay to use yes. our Ninja? Okay. Well, it's just over here. Do I need to let this cool down a little bit? Uh, yes. Not right now. Oh, not after, right now? After, after. Okay, so there it yes. is. Okay, thank you. I can already smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can just use a knife there. So what is the main language in Punjab? Uh, Punjabi. Punjabi. And are you very fluent in Punjabi? Very fluent. I can write, read. And so speak. is it, is it, um, does Punjabi have its own characters? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So maybe you can teach me to say something. How do you say, hello, my name is Neri? Um, hello in Punjabi, mostly we say like either namaste or sasrikal. Namaste? Namaste. Oh, it's not that. like a Hindi, Hindi word, but uh -huh. in Punjabi we can say sasrikal. 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 I can't say it. No, I can't say it. Okay, and mera na. Mera. Mera. Na. Na. Neri. Mera na neri? He. He. He? Yeah. Like H E? Uh, H A I, yeah. H A I. He. Mera neri, hi. <laughs> Mark says hanji. Hanji. Okay, yeah. what does hanji mean? Because yes. Jeff, I know, RJ always says hanji. Yes. And I laugh him, but I don't know what he's saying. But yeah. I know he's saying something to me in Indian, right? Yeah. It means yes? Uh, yes. I, I, he just says I don't know where it's about time. Um, can I, I borrow a spoon from you? Yes, it's just over there. So, Mada Neri. Mada Na Neri has. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do I say thank you? Maybe that's something. Sanwad. Sanwad. Sanwag. 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 Um, <laughs> so, we're going to use the salt in here. Okay. So, I would say like this much is good for it. Like, but you can add after at the end as well if you're thinking it's a little bit low. Okay. So, I'm going to add this much. Got that. That's some white salt. Mm. Uh, ginger. It's about, I would say, this one root medium. Okay, so three inches maybe? Yeah. Add that. Oh wow, I can smell it. Uh, cumin powder. Okay. I would just use maybe one tablespoon. One tablespoon. And then I'm going to use the garam masala. Okay. Yeah, you can just keep mixing. For keep me. stirring? All right. Um, I'm just going to add a little water so it won't stick to the pan. Okay. Looks like about two tablespoons. Yeah, we're going to add more water after. It's just like so everything gets mixed nicely. Okay. And are your kids fluent in Punjabi? Uh, no. No? Do they understand it? They do understand. They okay. don't speak, yes. Does Umish speak to you in Punjabi? Sometimes. Sometimes? But he's not good at it. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to add my tomato paste in here. I'm going to add quite a bit in here. I would say six, seven spoons. Okay. More tomato paste, more. It's good for gravy. Right. You can keep mixing. Yeah. A little bit more? That's good. That's good? Okay. Would this dish be considered a curry? Curry, yes. I've tried so many different curries the last few weeks. It's all really good, but it all tastes very different. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. So for the curry, this is like our main ingredients. For any curry you want to make, mm -hmm. this is the basic. So everything. Okay. Ginger, onion, garlic. Oh, I see the base to make the gravies. Yes. Do you have a cover for this? Yes, I do. It's just over here. So we're going to cover a little bit. We're going to wait maybe one to two minutes until it's like leaving the oil. Okay. And seven, the temperature seven is still good? Uh, we can make it five. Five? Okay. Let's do five. 
So in the meantime, I will just add more water because I don't want to burn it. So we'll go slowly. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a dough for, for the roti. Perfect. So I already made a dough at home. It's from all purpose flour, but I'm just going to demo a little bit like how we're going to prepare. Because a lot of people ask me, like, do you add citric acid or any kind of uh, thing to make it fluffy? I don't use anything. Okay. So maybe I can just show you how to do it for one cup. Or half a cup. Half a cup? Okay. Half a cup is a little. will not do anything for me. So one cup. So one cup. One cup of flour. And you can use, I guess, white flour, whole wheat flour. Full wheat flour or white flour, whatever you prefer. So this is one cup. Um, so I'm going to make a dough. I don't have measurements for water. What I do is when I have to make a dough, I take water. I start adding uh, little by little. Oh, okay, gradually then. So because I want more consistency. So you start mixing. I'm just going to use my hand. It's just like you guys make for uh, pizza dough. Right. It shouldn't be too uh, hard and too light, like like uh, what's called thin. Uh, not oh, like not a, too thin. Not too thin. Not too hard. Okay. So when it binds together, that, that's when it's good. Yes. I see. And you can, if you want, you can add like a little bit of oil in there so it won't stick to the pot or pan. Okay. So that's how I make it. And then in our thing we can even make a dough in the machine as well like you know the baking yes uh, mixture what's called kitchen mixture oh uh, yeah mixer mixer yeah. yeah just mixer you can make it in there too but i usually do my hands because with the hands i know what the consistency is right. because i'm making it so right. i know like how much i want it mm -hmm. so i just do a little push down with my knuckles So I didn't add anything in there. It's just the flour and water. Okay. So this very one, simple. It's very simple. What I do is I usually make it, and if I have to make rotis tomorrow, I usually make a dough a day earlier and leave it in the fridge. Why I do that is because in the fridge, it's the bind together uh, nicely. Mm -hmm. And when I have to make rotis, it's not very sticky and not very... Um, I see. So it's thin. easier to work with if you yeah. let it sit overnight. Yes. But it's really up to your preference. Yes. That's it. That's, that's, that's it? That's our dough. That's yeah, it's really ready. simple. Yeah, it's just water and flour. Okay. So here's one that you made yes. yesterday. Yes. It's been sitting for 24 hours. Yes. And I can see that you already put some grease over it so it's it, thick. Yes. And I just use the oil under on my uh, container okay. so it won't stick to the container. I see. And this is whole purpose flour. That's why the color is like. I see. Okay. All right. So you're going to come over here now. Looks like a gravy is done. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's fast. Yes. So for uh, other thing I'm gonna add in here, I have cream. It's uh, whipping cream I'm using. Okay. Uh, it's optional. If you just want a healthy dish, you don't have to add it. This is only for making the color really nice and I see. Uh, more thickness. Okay. But this is optional. For okay. health reason, you don't have to add it. But I'm going to add today a little bit. Or you can also use maybe, this is 35%. You mm -hmm. can use 18% too yes, or 10%. Yeah. And yes, I'm not going to use the whole thing. I might use like maybe a little bit to make the thickness. That's it. And this is a cream they use in butter chicken gravy. Oh, I know. I've <laughs> seen them. Butter chicken is one of my favorites. And if it's not creamy, I'm like, this is not butter chicken. <laughs> so this is, after that, when, I, when it's done, I usually blend my my gravy. I see. Okay. I have a hand blender, but I forgot today. So we're going to use yours. Okay. So I want you to do when I make, like, I don't know if you can use it. Hot. Okay, sure. Let's try it. And you want me to pour this in there? Sure. Can you? You know, I'm going to make a big <laughs> mess. I'm just going to, let's do it slowly because okay, sure. it's just going to be a big mess. I, I know. Okay. And so can I turn off the heat or do you want me yeah, to leave? Yeah, the... turn off the heat. Yes. Okay. So let's turn this off here. So while I do this, maybe you can start. What's the next step? Oh, just that it's, we're going to do it, and then I'm going to add in my peas and paneer, and it's completely done. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. I just don't want this mm. to explode on me. 
This is the first time I've used my ninja on something <laughs> hot. <laughs> is it okay to use though? I think so. I don't. I don't see why not. But we will find out. Unless viewers, if it's not allowed to use, let me know now in the next five seconds. <laughs> and does it have to be um, a fine blend? Uh, not too fine. Not too fine? Okay. Just the one blend is, I, I would say. It okay, this will be really loud. So I'll just pulse it. That's good? Okay. okay. And I'll just put it in here? Yeah, put it in here because after we use it. I see, okay. Fine, it's perfect. Okay. If you have a time, sometimes you can make a gravy and freeze them. And the next time you want to make something, take it out and you can add anything, like any oh, kind of dish you okay. want. Oh, okay. I'll just get you to pour that then <laughs> you if you want. I'll try my best. Yeah. I hope I don't spill. So what's your favorite dish, Seema, from India? Oh, India. Um, I, I just like everything, but my favorite is uh, chana masala. Matar chickpeas, right? Chickpeas. Uh, and matar paneer, rajma. It's uh, kidney beans. Kidney beans, okay. I do like chana masala too. That's one of my favorites. Along with butter chicken. It's the same thing to make. In, like, in chana masala, we don't need to put whipping cream in. Okay. Um, same spices, everything. Is that good? That's good. So you can put it in. Pour it back in. Because we're going to use that. So there we go. So a few years ago, Arj and I actually went to two Indian weddings. It was mm -hmm. actually really fun. And you can pour oh. that back in. Pour it back in there? Everyone was just so happy. It felt like, and they were just jumping around. It was crazy. So I just used a lot of crown. A lot of crown. <laughs> yes, a lot of crown, a lot of wine, and everyone was dancing. Not just one person, but everyone. Uh, so I used your bag to enjoy. I put water in so you having. So you can turn the heat on back. Yes, thank you. And I didn't know how to dance at the Indian wedding, so they taught me actually. So there's a jumping around, right, which is everyone can do. But then there's the, I don't know what it's called, but you do something with your hands, right? It's a, it's a Bhangra. It's a Bhangra dance. It's a famous Punjabi yes. dance. Yes. And they told me all you do is you twist the light bulb. So it's like, you know. <laughs> um, so that's how I remember it. Just twist the light bulb. <laughs> so these are the peas. Okay. Our main dish. Um, I usually get the, from Sobe Superstore any frozen section you can get them. Mm -hmm. So I usually get the small ones because okay. they are more soft and easy to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are also from, uh, I got it from the freezer out. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, if you can give me a one bowl I can use this. A bowl? Sure. Here's a bowl. Okay. I think we can use all for this gravy or this much. We'll see after I put it in. I see. So I'm going to dip them in hot water for a couple minutes. Okay. Oh, you just want to, I think this is cold. So hot is just down this way. Does it have to be really hot? Yeah. Oh, so really hot. Okay. Soft a bit. Can we also microwave it too? No. Nope. It won't take too long though. Yeah, I just wanna because they just came from the freezer. I see. I just wanna take the ice off. Okay, so that's a little bit warm there. That's good enough. So what are your plans for later today? We have a family get together today. Okay. For Father's, for Father's Day. Day, yes. Alright. So this is on. Yeah, it's on at medium heat. And you said Umesh is out golfing right now? He's golfing. <laughs> I do have to go home and cook as well. Oh, wow. See? <laughs> Cooking all your life. <laughs> I know. Never ends. It never ends. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I think we are good to put them in. I'm just going to take the water off. Sure. Do you want a strainer? That's fine. That's fine. Okay, 
we're going to dump our peas in there. I think we can use the whole bag. The whole our bag? gravy is enough for that. Okay. And how much is in the package then? So it was like 750 grams. 750 grams. So it's about a pound and a half of frozen mm -hmm. peas. I think the way we made a gravy, we can even use a little bit more, but I just don't want to like too much peas and that's no gravy because right, we want right. to taste the gravy as well. Exactly. Because we have to add paneer as well after. Oh, okay. So, so we're going to let it boil for maybe one minute when it's boiling and then we know that the peas are getting softer. Okay. And then we're going to add cheese after. And the paneer? Paneer. And it's done. And this paneer you said you purchased, you can purchase at Superstore or any Indian food? Any Indian food. Yeah. Okay. It just says paneer on it and it says like a cottage cheese at the bottom as well. Okay. But it's not really cottage cheese. It's not cottage cheese? No. What's it made out of? Uh, it's made out of milk. Oh, okay. <laughs> so in old ages, like my grandma's time, they used to make paneer at home from mm -hmm. scratch. How were they making it? In hot milk. They were putting citric acid or lemon juice, and then they waited for a few minutes. And then, you know, when the uh, the paneer and the whey is like separate, when it separates, each, yes, the water separates and the thickness separate. Then they use that uh, uh, paneer, uh, the cheesecloth, yes, and they put all the solid stuff in the cheesecloth, and right. then they, they were bring it out, bring it out, and then all the water comes out, and then that's how they were. Actually... That's how you make paneer. Yes, I didn't know that. This is I got it actually in cubes, but you can get as in slabs as well. So I see. you just cut it at home. Okay. But cubes, I I I follow like the cubes are easier mm -hmm. because then you don't have to do cutting and all that stuff. So it sounds like a process just to make paneer. <laughs> And it's also good for making any kind of Indian snacks too. Some people, what they do is they get paneer and then they deep fry it. Okay. And it's just like a snack. And then mm -hmm. you put spices on top. Oh. Or you can have chickpea flour, uh, make chickpea flour, put spices in there and then water, make a little kind of liquid consistency. Mm. Okay. And then paneer, dip the paneer in there and deep fry it after. Oh, wow. Okay. So just like onion rings? Yes, yes. But it's like paneer ring, paneer pakoras. So that's what I've been eating. Yeah. I've, I've tried um, paneer pakora. I thought I was eating cauliflower. I didn't know it was <laughs> paneer. Cauliflower pakoras are also Maybe that's there. what it, okay. It's same thing, but instead of paneer, they use cauliflower. So oh, okay. you dip the cauliflower instead of paneer in yes. the uh, batter and then you deep fry it. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. Okay. Anything like potato you can use yes. for pakora, fish pakoras too. Okay. So yeah. Interesting. So we're gonna use our paneer after after one boil. And do you have any um, uh, favorite Indian restaurants in Winnipeg that you that you like to um, visit? I usually like actually Ivory. Okay. And uh, clay oven. Clay oven. Yes. Yeah, ivory and clay oven is very but good. I prefer to go less to Indian restaurant. When I have to go, I prefer to go somewhere else because I cook Indian food all the I time. I see, okay. So I want like a different variety. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, those are the good ones. East India Company is very good too. Yes. Okay, um, so we're going to let it, uh, in the meantime, we can start our rotis. Sure, you know? let's do that. So I need another, another pan. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you, okay. you have like the kind of something like that. I don't, but I have just a regular pan. Would this work? We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Can I start it now then? Sure. Okay. And how high? Uh, six is fine. Six? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not um, induction yeah, I, ready. I forgot to ask you, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add space here. Okay. So for rotis, like obviously you need your dough and I have some dry flour and I need a plate when I'm going to put it on. Okay, here. I'll get you a plate here. And if you have any um, clean cloth, like a towel, small towel. Sure, I can get that for you. All right. 
I'm just gonna take my rings off because I don't want to. That's good enough. If you have a, <clears throat> sorry, if you have a cotton one, that will work. Okay, I have these ones. These would work. Oh, geez. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Okay. Just one or two. One is fine. Okay. okay. And for this, we're gonna make a ball first. This much amount. Okay. Not too much. Not too thick. Not too big. I'm gonna roll it out, just like this. A ball. Okay. I want you to do after. Okay, yes, I'm going to try that after. <laughs> so, just a small ball in a dry flower, just like you do for pizza, right? And how thin does it have to be? It doesn't matter. Like, <clears throat> every person has their own thing. Some, like my mother-in-law, she makes really thick ones. Okay. I make really thin ones. My okay. husband loves thin ones. So it depends. Yeah. Like, if you make your uh, ball, like, a little bit thick, you will make thick ones. Yes. If you do small, then you make thin. It depends on so what preference. kind. Yeah, just like pizza, you know, like thin crust yes. or thick crust. Yes, I like so, thin crust. <laughs> I, I do like thin, too. So it's just like you have to roll. You don't have to roll too big. At the end, what I do is just with my hands a little bit. But the pan has to be really, really hot. Oh, really hot. It. Okay. And you don't grease it? Nope. nope. Nothing. And that's it. That's right. and, that, and then how long does it um, take to cook? Not too long. Not too long? Yeah. If the, if the pan is ready for your roti, it won't take too long. Okay. Well, let me help you. Oh, let yeah, me try. Sure. Okay, let's get this. Uh, oh, right, I need some flour. Do I? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm going to flip this. It's not really hot, the pan. So. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. You can dip in there like both sides and it won't stick to it. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> mine is already sticky. You can roll it again. Yes, you know what? Let's re roll this because uh, it's sticking. <laughs> Maybe I should flower my hands because you made it look so effortlessly. Because I'm used to it, right? That's why. But... You know, I, I uh, floured my rolling pin, I floured my surface area, and it was still sticking. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's your first time doing it, so. This is terrible. <laughs> you know what, Seema? I'm going to get you to do this. <laughs> I'll get you to do this. I will watch over the roti. Okay. <laughs> okay, because you, yours are just so beautiful. Practice, just practice. practice. Yeah. yeah, you'll do it. Here, you know, I'll make you some balls. I can, I'll do that. Can we make a pan a little bit hot just for sure. now, and then we can dim it down. Now. Seven or eight? Uh, I would say eight for now. Eight? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Because it's not hot, so I can't really. I see. Okay. This looks yummy already. There we go. I'm not much of a baker. <laughs> <laughs> I once was making pizza. We did um, a pizza episode uh -huh. maybe a month or two ago, and I got a little too excited. I cracked my dough, uh -huh. but I put sauce over it, and it looked perfect after. So that's how I do it, because it wasn't really hot, so mm -hmm. I could that you flip one side when it's done and then you flip on the other side. It starts rising, when it starts rising, then I use my cloth. I just keep like not high pressure, but like low pressure on the roti. Like, Are you pushing out the air? Uh, yes, so the air is all over, that means it's cooked. Oh, I Sometimes see. Sometimes they, they don't be fluffy. Not all the time they get fluffy though. Sometimes. So it depends, but you see? Okay, so you're trying to distribute the air evenly. Yes, so. You know, they... So it's all cooked? All cooked, yes. It's cooked, though. Sometimes they do fluff, sometimes no. It depends on the, the heat and everything. Mm hmm Can you check if our thing is boiling a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it has a little boil. Okay. So we're going to start adding... Our paneer? Paneer in there. So this is our roti done. That was pretty cool, actually. Do I add the entire bag, Seema? Uh, I would say not entire bag, maybe one fourth for now. And let's see how okay. much we get. One fourth? Okay. Just how much I'm adding. Yep. Is 
that enough? Yeah, you can add a little bit more. Okay, let's do more. Mine as well. We have we have room. Now our pan is hot, so yes. you can lower it down. Lower it down to six. To six, okay. Is this enough, or is it? I think that's good enough. Okay. Yeah. Now you can cover that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Sure, go ahead. I like paneer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, there we go. So. I'm gonna make that at home today. <laughs> So I'm going to explain one more time because we were just doing there. Yes. So again, like have a dough ready, roll it. Oh, so oh. you're doing multiple dips. That's why mine was sticking. But if you use too much of uh, flour? dry flour, yeah. it will just burn your pan because oh. the dryness is going there and you will have in, like smoke all over. Okay. So you don't have to use too much. Maybe. One or two are fine. So after this, like I usually use my hand to mm -hmm. do it. And then that's it. And just let it um, yeah, bubble up, I, I guess. Yeah, I will show you when I know the first side is done. Okay. So you see even there's a little kind of bumps coming up on the side, mm -hmm. like on the surface. Then I flip one side. Like you can see it's a little brown area. And right. the other side, it's going to be more dots right that's how you know the other side is getting ready or it just start rising so you see like i didn't use any other um ingredient in here just the flour and water but mm -hmm. it's still rising mm -hmm. it's just the way of making it right and so is roti is that a staple in indian food yes yes okay and it does is it eaten with every meal every meal yes. really yes with anything because <laughs> it's good for dipping yes it's just like a bread so uh, in our Canadian culture, we use bread. Right. In Indian culture, we use roti for everything. So do you see it's just rising? I do see that, yes. And flip on the other side. Yani Sambuk, Sambuk says, Happy Father's Day, RJ. Hi, Johnny. Happy Father's Day. Johnny is the one that helped you um, when you had your leg fracture, your knee fracture. Oh, that's right. Johnny, yes. Johnny from Health Science Center. He yeah. actually just had a birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, Johnny. So this is done. Oh, wow. Pretty fast. So you want me to keep making? Yes. <laughs> yeah, how much, um, like it's how much long? It's boil when you see the, our paneer is getting orange. Okay. Not white anymore. Okay. You can stir a little bit. Okay. We'll keep doing that until our paneer is ready then. It looks like ready, but it will just give maybe five more minutes. Five more minutes? Yeah. Okay, so then we'll keep doing that. I think I might try to make another roti then. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's try this. That's why I use oil to my uh, container, so it won't stick to hands. I'll come, let you oh. come on this side, Okay. and I'll do this. I'll do this. Not too much flour, because you don't want it to burn. Okay, looking good, not too bad. Looking good, not bad. And so Umish likes his thin, his roti's thin, but you thin. can also make it thinner, or thicker, uh, thicker if you want. yes. Oh, mine's small. You can do now with the hand, if you think it's almost done, like, you know, with the hands, like, enlarge oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How come yours looks so nice? <laughs> you need to do practice all day. You yes. will get it eventually. <laughs> well, okay, mine is really small. Let's, you know, let's redo it. Okay. Or let's add a little bit more dough because you can't have a small one and then those are, are really looking nice. Okay. Let's try this again. Sure. Third time. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Exactly. So keep doing it. You will get it. I'm all about the looks, right? Like I like presentation. I like to have my meals look pretty. So I want this to be uniform with yours. So you see like this one is like completely fluffy right now. Yes. yes. So 
mine are always like that but it depends like you know the the heat the consistency everything okay so so now you know it's ready okay is this one ready that's good yeah that's good that's good that's good and then i could slap it around yep that's okay if it's a different shape it's it's good <laughs> i don't think it's that bad no okay. it's not bad there okay okay Good. Do you want to try another one or you want me to do it? Um, you know, I think I'm good. That was fun enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want you to do that one. Um, let me, not right oh, now. Oh, not right now? Not right now. Couple seconds. It's funny, you know, we cook so often. I just use my hand. I don't care about utensils, but feel free to use, you know, utensils yes, if you need. Yes, of course. But the only thing is, you know, the fun part in roti is like, you have to use your hand. It's oh, you like, have to. Yeah. Like you can use your, like anything to scap, like, those flat things to yeah, flip it tongs over. or spatulas, yeah. yeah. So you, mine was a little bit thicker, and I noticed that I, there's these spots here, and that's okay. That, we're gonna cook it. Like okay. it's not like fully cooked though. Yeah. I'm just gonna cook. So it might take a while for it to, I guess, bubble up. Yes. And how many rotis do you eat at each meal then? Um, it depends. It depends. Because everybody has it, their different things. Like I don't eat. I actually cut the bread this week. So I'm not eating any bread, any roti. Uh, but before, like during the dinner time, I wasn't eating any. Mm -hmm. uh, during the daytime, I was eating like two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Depends. Like, depends. It yeah. depends on your how like how hungry you are. Right. So or eat. if you're eating rice too, because yes. you said that this dish can, can go be with eaten rice. with rice also. Yes. It's a little bit thick, so the thicker one takes more time to cook. We don't want to like just the flour. It doesn't, so. You don't want it to be all doughy. Yes. Okay, makes sense. Do you want to do it like? Yeah, so I just push the air? Push oh. the air, yeah. Okay, you know, it's not really bubbly yet. Just just pushing the corners here. So oh, pushing the corners, I, yeah. oh, so I see. So it's like getting cooked. Just gently? Gently, yes. Just leave it. Oh, if it's cooked, you can flip it over. Yeah, it looks like cooks, but it just looks cooked. Corners. Oh, corners. Okay, so edges. edges. Make sure that <laughs> you push the air out from the edges. And I think our paneer is ready as well. Do I turn so it off? Then? Turn it off. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now it's cooked. It's cooked. Yes. Okay, wow. Successful. Successful. A little bit thick, but it's good. It's good. I think it looks not, yeah. not For bad. For first time, it's better. So this was Dima's, this was mine. <laughs> <laughs> but still extra yummy, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so for paneer, uh, I just got uh, cilantro. Is it garnish? Garnish. Okay. You can do it. on top just on top i love cilantro so much me too i'm just gonna dump the whole thing yeah sure go ahead there we go so this is our dish it's ready okay let's serve it um okay let's get a bowl and then we can taste it together so i'll give this to you seema and you can plate that for me and then we'll put this on another plate or actually we'll eat it together Oh, you know, I should probably push this. Sure. I'll push it. <laughs> Edges. This was actually really fun. And if you like butter, you can actually put butter on top of your rotis after. It's up to you. Let's like, do the butter. I really like butter. You let's like do butter? It. Yeah. My butter is actually just over there. Okay. So let's show the audience how you do it then. Is it butter or is it ghee? Because um, I have both. I use a grass-fed butter at home. Okay. But you can use ghee or butter, anything. Doesn't matter. Do you use a lot of ghee at home? Uh, yes. So butter, 
just like you put it on your toast. I use this much amount and then I do this together. That's it. So I'm going to do another two. How's that roti going? It looks perfect, but I'm good. Oh, okay. Just like you put it on a toast. I see. That's it. All right, let's give this a try. Sure. Here, I'm gonna bring this over. Okay. Wash my hands. I'll butter this one. You try first. Oh. There we go. Let's try it together, Seema. So I just take a piece like this, I just rip it apart? Yes. And I just dip it? Dip it. Okay. I'm done. I'll tell me how it. Okay. I didn't take the salt or anything. So okay. We'll see. If less, then we can add more. I don't want to burn myself. <laughs> How's it? It's, it's really good. Spicy? Mmm. Not spicy, but I can taste the creaminess. Mm -hmm. But I do want to taste that paneer. Can you eat this like a soup, or is it, or oh, yes, do you? Yes, you can eat it with those. Yes. Okay. Good spoon. I'm gonna add more spices. Okay. So it's just a red chili. Oh sure. You said it's not like, really spicy. No. So we can add a little bit more. So it's your preference if you want it spicy or not. Yes. How's the salt? Is good. The salt is fine. Yes. Jerome, would you like to try this? <laughs> yes. No. Later, yes. Later. Later. <laughs> It's a really good Sima. I'm glad you liked it. Well, thank you so much, Sima, for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. This was actually really fun to make. You're I don't welcome. think you've tried your food yet. <laughs> Join me next week on Neri's Kitchen, and I'll see you guys next week, and happy Father's Day to you all. Thank you, guys. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy your weekend. It's really good. I like it. Mm. Good. It is good? Okay. I like this roti. Has a nice texture to it.